Hey, we have a special guest on the Matt Woods Comics YouTube channel. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here, and here is my special guest host. It's me, Spencer. Who is making his very first YouTube experience. Now guys, if you've been watching this channel for long enough, you know this is the cameraman. This is the guy who's hiding behind the comic book shelves with his camera in the air, and he's the guy who records most of my videos. Now, what this video is, okay, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that are designed specifically for young collectors. This isn't one of those. This is a video designed for dads or, or moms or somebody that is influential in a young person's life. How to get them into comic book reading. Now, Spencer, do you enjoy reading comic books? Yeah, I'd say so. So... What about it did you enjoy at the beginning? Like, Because I remember, you probably don't remember when the comic books first started showing up in the house. Because you were probably too young to remember. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. So were they just always a part of your life? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I had a few comic books that like, whenever I was little, I'd read over and over again. But I wouldn't say they were always a part of my life. But what I mean by that is, were they always there? Yeah. Okay. That. Well, that is going to lead to one of my first points. Guys, make them available. Because a lot of times, not a lot of times, one of the biggest things that parents have to do is try to encourage reading in their kids. Now, there's all kinds of reading. You do not have to read a comic book, okay? There's so many storybooks. But guys, people like comic books, especially kids, okay? Um... What were some of the early comic books you remember? You talked about there's some that you read over and over again. There was a uh, there's a few Spider-Mans I'd read over and over again. Well, I didn't have anywhere <laughs> near the entire set or like the Spider-Mans I'd read, the stories wouldn't line up, but those little stories that were within the comics, those got me interested to a point where I am today where I'm cl helping collect comics. So, you guys he goes from always having these books around to actually starting to collect comic books. Now, this kid right here is one of the best readers I know, okay? And honestly, he's probably a better reader than I was at his age. How old are you right now? Uh, <laughs> he's got to think about it. Well, uh, 16, I think. Okay, he's good at reading math. He might not be the best at, okay? But comedy might be his forte. So... Comic books have been a part of his life from the beginning. Now, what made you... You now are now a collector. You now are now a collector. Forgive me, guys. This is on the spot. It's just my son and I, you know, uh, spitballing this video. But what made you want to start collecting? Well, uh, if I'm going to be quite honest, I play a lot of video games. I mean, like, it's pretty much to be expected with the, uh, the new generation. But... <laughs> Nothing I decided wrong with to that. take a break, you know, as you know, and I picked up comic book reading. I went online, found some comics online, primarily a bunch of Batman series, mostly the Batman Who Laughs, started Ooh. reading it, and then all of a sudden I thought, wow, my dad collects, so why not? Why don't I? And then the, here we are today. And guys, this collecting has been a family affair for us. A lot of you guys know this room did not look, this comic book room did not look like this uh, two years ago, okay? It had brown, old 1950s drywall on the sides, and we had to do a remodel. Well, it wasn't just me. This young man was here the whole time helping me every step of the way, whether it was working on the lighting. Now, I was the one doing the wiring, but he would hand me tools as I needed them because... If you guys, I can't tell if you can tell, but some of this recessed lighting in the ceiling, I had to get into a crawl space that was about 18 inches by 18 inches wide. I had to crawl through here. 
Well, this young man was such a giant help, you know, feeding me wire whenever I needed it or whatever tool I needed. He, the brick walls back there, he's the one who did it. How did working on this comic book room, how did that affect you? What did, what were your thoughts of it? I wouldn't say it affected me much on the scale of comics, but what it did affect me on is I enjoyed the work ethic. I enjoyed working with my father on making this room. And overall, I just was more prone to his suggestion about starting to collect comics in this amazing room we made. It is an amazing room. I really enjoy this. My favorite thing about this room is the memories that him and I shared while we were working on this room. Such an awesome experience, a father-son experience. And while building this room might not have been, quote, comic book related, it was, okay? It was all about that. Now, Spencer, do you have any books that you are especially proud of? And tell us why you're proud of them. I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> well, I got myself here a Detective Comics. Have I ever read this uh, series? No, I have not. That's probably not a good thing. Probably not a bad thing either. He is mainly a reader, but there's a handful of books he hasn't. There's a few comics that I got not based on just because they're storyline. That's most of my books. But this book right here. Now outclassed by a book. I'm not sure I forget which it is. But this was at one point the oldest comic inside this room. And I was the one who paid with it with my own money. I was proud of it. Plus, I don't know, but... That harpoon looks pretty nasty. Hold it up so people can see the harpoon. Yep, there you go. There you yep. go. That looks pretty nasty. <laughs> what year was that comic printed? Do you remember? Uh, that comic was printed... I don't know. I do remember. 1956. For a while, that was the oldest comic book in this room. <laughs> now we go at Dark Knights Rising, The Wild Hunt. Now this one, this one's a, this one's a personal favorite from mine. One, I actually enjoyed the storyline... Did I think it was the greatest? No, but it was a decent storyline. Not to mention this fire cover. This cover is absolutely bussin'. It's beautiful. Like, look at how those little robins just pop out on the uh, front. I don't know. It's a pretty cool cover. No cap, FR. That was a gift from a very special friend of the channel. But Now, not only does Spencer have some books that he likes, he has influence my own collection okay now you guys if you've ever heard of anti-venom and spencer you don't remember any of this do you about because we've talked about this in the past how you used to love this character well i got this statue of anti-venom whenever he was young okay he just thought it was the coolest thing ever you know, he would always talk about it. And for a while, he would tell me stories about Anti-Venom. He knew more about Anti-Venom, the character, than I did. Well, just last summer, summer 2021, on my goal list for the year 2021, I had four books, okay? One of these books was a high-grade copy of Amazing Spider-Man 569, the second printing, the one that has Anti-Venom on it. It's a uh, John Romita Jr. cover. The reason I got this book was because of him. I remembered how he liked this statue and he knew about this character. Now, we've talked about this. He doesn't really remember. He was young, very young, but he doesn't remember how much he liked Anti-Venom when he was maybe two, three years old, but I do. And just that memory of, you know, hanging out with my young son talking about this character that I really didn't know much about at the time. That made a memory for me. Do you have any other books? Uh, I do have a Batman Superman, the new 52, number two. Now, this one stands out to me. You know, it's... it's hey, Joe and Pretty Fly, do you see this? My kid's into DC. DC's not all bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but this one stands out to me because this was the first slab book I have ever gotten. My dad gave it to me after I got a decent collection of non-slab books. And the storyline's alright. It's, it's not great, it's not bad, it's alright. Now Star Wars Dr. Afro. This one, this was the first comic book series I actually sat down and read the entirety through. 1 through 50. My favorite series of all time. Then again, there might be more series I haven't reached yet, but this book specifically, 
It's one of my favorites. Guys, listen, I can't tell you everything about how to get a young kid into collecting. And I know I started off the video talking about that, but my advice to make lasting memories, don't force comic books onto young kids. I think that they would rebel against that. Make them available so that they have the option. Would you agree with that? I'd agree with that. And don't... I've made mistakes with my own kid. There was a time... I, I'm super organized. I am almost OCD with my organization where everything has to go in order. Guys, I wanted to get my young son to organize the way I did. Did you like that? No. In fact, I saw collecting for a little bit. See, I made my own mistake um, with my son as far as the collection goes. And honestly, I am a big proponent of collect what you like, collect how you like it, collect whatever you like. But you know what? Then I'm trying to put rules on my own kid. But is there any wrong way to collect? I wouldn't say so, no. No, it's collect how you like it, you know, whatever you want. So a lot of times us as parents, we try to be too forceful with our kids. Let them enjoy the hobby just like we did and let them explore it just the same. Now, your interest, Spencer, seems to ebb and it flows. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay, like, whenever you get excited, you're very active in the hobby, looking for books, and it's kind of fun to watch. And you have questions about it, and I love to answer those. And then I notice it's almost like flick of the switch. He's a teenager. Teenagers are kind of fickle by definition. Then some days he's just not into it. Don't sweat it when they're just not into it. Hey, he might grow up and be a collector like I am. He might grow up and really not care anything about comic books. I'll explain. Ooh, explain. I will like I'll this. explain why my interests have flow. As you know, as I say before, that I have multiple hobbies, video games being included. Now, I don't exactly have a disposable income yet at the moment. Reasons of no driver's license. <laughs> but, um... So I have to choose what hobby I want to spend most of my time. If I get super excited into comic books, which I think is a great hobby. I mean, I participate in myself. You saw the books. But, um... <laughs> Those are just some of them. Trust me, his collection's pretty big. <laughs> then my, uh, my other hobbies go unattended. So, you know, that's... I would argue that's one of the main reasons for most teenagers, children, why they just ebb and flow with this hobby specifically honestly that makes perfect sense to me too because you know like without a doubt my last video i talked about there is a point where you have to buy comic books it does cost money um and you don't have a job right now you're still in high school that does affect it but even myself i will find myself the interest in the hobby i always have it i always have a pull list but it ebbs and it flows where I'll be super active in comic books and then there'll be times where other things in life seem to take more importance. Same as a teenager. Um, I actually really enjoyed this talking with you about the hobby that you and I both enjoy, okay? Um, I do want to say thank you for being the best cameraman on YouTube and how much our subscribers really enjoy the work that you do so thank you for all of that work yeah you're welcome you're welcome i'm pretty great <laughs> pretty great yeah no cap fr uh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's a dad trying to sound cool all right but guys i hope you like this video if you do hit that thumbs up uh put a comment down below and guys hit that subscription button and keep our numbers growing but we want to thank you and you guys have a great night. That too.